Example eight. We see the word or, so we know that we're going to have or in our answer. On our first inequality, we are going to be solving for the variable b by subtracting the constant 3 on both sides of the inequality. That leaves us with negative 10b is less than or equal to negative 40. The next thing we're going to do to isolate the variable b is divide by the coefficient negative 10. Whenever we multiply or divide by a negative, we need to remember to flip the inequality symbol. That's going to leave us with b, flipping the symbol is greater than or equal to, a negative divided by a negative is a positive, 40 divided by 10 is 4. That's my first part of my answer. On the second inequality, we're going to be solving for the variable b. We need to add the constant 10 to both sides of the inequality. That's going to give us 3b is less than negative 15. We are then going to solve for the variable b by dividing by the coefficient 3. I am not going to flip the inequality symbol because what I'm dividing by is a positive number. So that's going to give us b is less than, because the symbol stays the same, a negative divided by a positive is a negative, 15 divided by 3 is 5. So here's your final answer, for example, 8. If we were to graph that on a number line, we would have our 4. Oops, sorry, let me make that my negative 5. So again, if I had my number line, it would be negative 5, and I would have my 4. Negative 5 would have an open dot, 4 would have a closed dot. 4 is greater than, so the arrow is going to be going to the right. Negative 5 is less than, so the arrow is going to be going to the left. And that's what it would look like graphed on a number line.